When it comes to productivity, I've tried so much. From to-do lists over the Pomodoro technique down to minimizing distractions by blocking specific web pages and basically every trick that I found in over 200 books. And all of these may have their place somewhere, but most of them just led to marginal improvements at best, at least for me. I'm a full-time psychology student, I work as a part-time research assistant at a university and I run this YouTube channel on which we talk about psychology, philosophy and self-help. I'm not in a position in which I can or want to focus on just one thing. So it becomes a balancing act as they all require quite a bit of attention. My days used to be productive, but in an inefficient, cluttered way. I'd first do some work, then proceed to study and in the evenings I'd plan a video, edit or think about what things I may want to change in the future. I think this daily structure is quite similar to what most people experience. It starts out with what I have to do to put food on the table, then comes studying, which is something that I definitely should do, and the leftover energy is spent on a passion project. But even maintaining such a simple schedule can be quite difficult when you have to do everything from home, since you can't really distinguish between work and relaxation. There's no clear-cut difference between your workspace and your home, where you relax. The answer to solve these problems is separation. And separating is exactly what I did throughout the last year. I separated on a spatial, digital and temporal level. It started with moving to a bigger apartment, so I'd have my own little office. Having a separate room instead of having my living room, bedroom and office crunched all into one tiny 28 square meter apartment was a game changer. I now have spatial separation between work, including my job, studying and my YouTube channel, and actual leisure time. I have my little office to work and if I want to relax, then I'm usually in a different room. This helps me to properly calm down. The environment is basically a trigger that tells my brain either to work or to chill. As soon as I'm sitting down in the living room, I'm beginning to leave work thoughts behind and in my office, I quickly get into the zone. This required some perseverance as I took my work thoughts quite frequently into the living room. Honestly, I still do this from time to time, but slowly it's becoming a rare phenomenon, which results in much better recovery as I give my head the necessary and deserved breaks. Secondly, I separated my computer, or rather, got a second one. And this digital separation is the one that had the biggest impact on my productivity. Yes, an even bigger impact than having my own office. I used to have one computer that I used for everything. Private matters, work, my YouTube channel, studying, playing games, watching shows, absolutely everything. In turn, I could be distracted quite easily by all the things that were going on. Being at social media notifications, quickly seeing what I need to do for the next video, simply being tempted to quickly watch a video either instead of working or while working, or I also found myself quite frequently checking my YouTube analytics way too frequently. Now, I have two separate computers at my desk connected to the same monitors. A switch of a button allows me to easily use one or the other. One is exclusively for work and studying, whereas the other one is for my YouTube channel and personal matters and relaxing activities. On my work computer, I simply never signed into any social media accounts. And with these annoying two-way verifications, I'm simply not tempted at all to go through the hassle anyways. It is simply no option to sign into social media on my work computer. If I'm taking a break to eat some food, watch a video or check social media, then I have to boot up my personal computer, do this for 10 to 20 minutes, and then I know it's time to switch computers again and get back to work. This might seem simple and at the same time completely over the top, but it makes a monumental difference. When studying, I simply don't open social media platforms at all anymore. Similarly, I don't even think about watching a video or checking my analytics while working. It feels like the distractions that normally bothered me completely disappeared. The separation allows me to exclusively focus on one thing and one thing only. This helps tremendously with getting into and staying in the zone. The interruptions that would require me to refocus are simply gone. I'm aware that there are apps that block social media sites, but it is not quite the same as having a different computer. Think of it like the separation of an office and a living room, except it's with the click of the button and it's the separation of the digital space that you move in. Sure, you can work in your living room and throw a blanket over all the distractions, but they are still there. They are just covered up. And that's how blocking sites works too. They are still there and you know it. But if you create an environment in which they do not seem to exist, like a room that does not have a television, then there's simply no option to be distracted by it. Psychologically speaking, there's a huge difference between going from your office into the living room to watch television 
or simply pulling a blanket off the television because you're already in the same room. As soon as my work computer boots up, my brain switches into a focused mode, ready to work and study. It's like a digital office where distractions are not obscured or covered up, but rather ceased to exist at all. Lastly, I separated my week. Now I have two full days for work, three days for studying and a weekend to run my YouTube channel and other miscellaneous activities. In that way, I'm not worrying about what I need to do later in the day. I have one project that I need to tackle that day and that's it. The next day is none of my concern at this moment. This simply helps me to stay focused. In the mornings, I check where I left off last week and then I can put my head to work for at least two days on the same project without worrying about things that I should, could or want to do. So if you need to work from home, if you have different projects that you want to pursue or if you simply need to be a bit more productive, then try separating things on a temporal level by clearing up full days for each project. If possible, get spatial separation between work and relaxing and ideally separate your digital space by getting a computer exclusively for work and studying and one for personal use. I can't stress this last one enough. That's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the subscribe button and like the video. A huge shout out to EliZ, David Rose and Robert Kempf for supporting me on Patreon. I truly appreciate it. I wish you a wonderful day and I will be seeing you in the very next video.